And so here we are yet again with some fresh, juicy new Gran Turismo 7 looks and news, and we have a new confirmed vintage car in the game. And for those of you who have followed my work for a long time with regards to Gran Turismo, you'll know I love classic and vintage cars in the game, and there are precious few vintage models, pre, post-war kind of stuff. We also have a better look at some vehicles which we already knew were in the game, but of course, it's always nice to improve and increase that hype train. Most notably recently, of course, we saw the Lambo LP640 driving on Deep Forest. That was probably the most mixed reaction that I've seen so far to any of these trailers, because obviously people have a ton of nostalgia. A lot of people either weren't sure or weren't happy with how the track looks now. And of course, if you haven't seen that one, you can check that one out here on the channel. There'll probably be an annotation at the top of the screen. But as far as this one goes... It's more so looking into the controller side of things and into the graphics improvements with, once again, a one-on-one -on -one with Kaz. He mentions how the actual triggers in your controller are going to give you more feedback, thanks to the PS5's new controller, than, for example, an older game may have had. And I love the fact that they're not giving up on controller users. You know, with the focus more and more on esports, it could be easy to kind of just make the game and tailor the game all but only for wheels. And I'm really glad that they haven't done that, because a massive player base still does prefer, myself included even, to use a controller. Now, as far as the graphics side of things, that is where we get our chance to see some vehicles in action, some more CLK LM action, what was, I thought for a split second, a blue Mercedes AMG Project 1. It was actually the Porsche 911 GT1 from the back. We see, of course, the Carrera GT. More footage of the Lamborghini LP640 as well returning, and notably the new 1929 vintage Merc featured a couple of times in the trailer as well. We don't know as far as price on that one yet, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if that ends up being one of the trusty high roller type vehicles with a 5, 10, 15, whatever million credit price tag. And to me, I have little to no problem with that because... At the end of the day, those cars don't tend to be essential purchases, but for those of us who like to collect, it does make it feel like an achievement when you finally do grab one. So we have another confirmed car, as I said, another better look at the graphics, Kaz, as I said, giving details on the game itself, how it's going to look and feel a little bit different. And again, it just keeps that hype train going because we're already in December. The game's coming out in March. Of course, if it doesn't get delayed, that's not that far away. So they really do need to keep that train going, and that seems exactly like what they are trying to do. So that's great to see. Of course, if you are newer to the channel, maybe if this is my first Gran Turismo 7 video that you've watched, then of course, check out the playlist that's here on screen where all of my Gran Turismo 7 content is in there. And we've done a ton of breakdowns and behind-the-scenes stuff from trailers. And of course, stick around on the channel in future for more news like this as well. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.